In this audio series, we talk about some of the most interesting topics first published in Scuba Diver magazine, read by James Brown. Article photography by Alex Mustard. Website address in description. First in a brand new column by underwater photography guru Alex Mustard. This issue, Alex outlines who he is and what he aims to achieve in the coming months. New to the magazine as a regular, but not new to underwater photography. I'm a diver and occasional free diver, although you won't find me doing either of those without a camera. My passion for the sea has been lifelong. I took my first underwater photos when I was nine years old and gained my first dive qualifications a few years later. Since then, my life has always been connected to water. I have a PhD in marine ecology, and after a further four years working as a marine biologist, I turned my underwater photography hobby into my job. I have logged 4,870 dives with a camera. I have kept logging my photo dives so I can trace all my photos back to exactly where they were taken. People correctly assume a marine biologist has a tremendous advantage for underwater photography. It means you know what you're looking at, where to find interesting species, and gives you a sixth sense for capturing natural behaviour. I'd encourage any diver learn a bit more about underwater life whether you take photos or not. It's not about knowing dry Latin names or tongue-twisting technical words, but real-world experience of how underwater animals live their lives. Knowledge is always faster than reflexes for a photographer. My scientific background has shaped my photographic career, as well as my pictures. As a scientist, you learn knowledge isn't to be hoarded. There's no point in earning it if you don't share it. This is my motivation to help others take better pictures underwater. I've been sharing my ideas and techniques through workshops, talks, articles and books for more than 25 years. Many of my photos have enjoyed a life of their own, becoming well-known in prominent books and magazines, in the mainstream media or in high-profile photography awards. They have won multiple categories in the Wildlife Photographer of the Year and British Wildlife Photography Awards. I was named European Wildlife Photographer of the Year in 2013 and remain the only underwater winner of that title. My coffee table book on coral and climate change, Reefs Revealed, was named the best book of underwater pictures for 2007. The obvious gap in my contest CV is not having any awards from the prestigious Underwater Photographer of the Year contest. My excuse is that I am a founder and chair of the judges for that one, which prohibits me from entering. I'm proud to have been awarded the ADEX Award for Extraordinary Contribution to Underwater Photography, and to have received the rare Golden Trident Award from the International Academy of Underwater Sciences. And it was very special to be awarded an MBE from Queen Elizabeth II for services to underwater photography. So, as an underwater photographer who has been around the block, it makes sense for me to aim this column at you, enthusiastic shooters. I hope to pass on valuable insights gleaned from being out there in the ocean shooting. I won't be covering the very first steps of underwater imaging here, but I know the magazine will regularly run standalone features on getting started in underwater photography, and I am sure I will contribute to them. I also want this new column to romp widely, and I hope to share my experiences on all aspects of underwater photography. We'll talk techniques, lighting, composition and equipment, naturally, but I plan to cast my net wider and cover detailed photographic tips for destinations and popular species, as well as other topics of interest, like advice about photo contests and getting published. To continue my introduction in PhotoSpeak, I currently shoot with Nikon SLR cameras, Nikon D850 and D5 to be specific, in Subal housings. I also own a mirrorless Olympus system in a Nauticam housing, but I am yet to take the mirrorless plunge for my primary system. But it is clear it is the future. I am regularly asked to review new cameras and get the chance to get to know most systems intimately through my workshops, which also account for most of my diving. I have an unhealthy fascination with light underwater and think that most other underwater photographers are too obsessed with cameras and not enough with their flashes. My strobes are from Retra and Seacam. I also enjoy available light photography and more than 15 years ago now invented the magic filter for working without strobes, which I still use. My other obsession is underwater optics, which I think is the most exciting current frontier of progress in underwater photography equipment. It has always been possible to design lenses to work specifically in water, but very few bothered. The advances in computer-aided optical design, capitalised on by intelligent engineers like Edward Lai and motivated companies like Nauticam, have been rewriting the rules over the last decade. For underwater photographers, the digital revolution has been followed by the optical revolution. 
Today, we're blessed with an ability to shoot types of images and with a quality that has never been possible before. When it comes to making images underwater, this is a time of ever-expanding possibilities. In short, we've never had it so good, and I look forward to helping you make the most of it. You've been listening to the Scuba Diver Magazine audio series. For more great stories like this one, visit scubadivermag.com forward slash audio series.